How did the fight go down in your eyes? So I think it was like a third and long. Yeah. We were midfield. Josh McCown was at quarterback. I think it was his first day on the job, like first yeah. game on the job. And obviously he's a season vet. So we were really trying to protect him. Like coach said he can do his thing if we block for him. So we were getting it done. Well, we didn't block for him one time. There was a strip sack, maybe Robert like strip sack or Probably something. 20. Like backside, nobody saw it coming, and the ball shot out 15 yards on the ground behind the quarterback. And I turned around, and obviously, I take off running towards the ball. And of course, standing next to me was William Hayes, who also saw the same thing I did, and yeah. he took off towards the football. And he said, "Well, I'm just going to eliminate one of their guys now, you know, which was me. He's going to yeah. block me. The heady play, which is a heady play. Now there's a there's a kosher way to do it, and there's a, you know not." For an O-lineman, you really have a lot of rules about the rules of engagement. There's halal and there's not halal. <laughs> and he, that day, he did some stuff that was against was the book. not halal. And he hit me in the back. Yeah. And and uh, I can't remember if I went immediately down or if I stumbled and caught myself and turned around. But he hit. It was a hit and run. It yeah. was a hit well, and run. Well, that's what will. So he hit me, and he took off yeah. running towards the football. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little did he know, yeah, I could run pretty run good. To the <laughs> and I sprinted, and I caught up to him. And before I, like, you know, he didn't see me. I took my left hand on his left shoulder and peeled him back while he was running. So he was turned towards me. And now we're chest to chest <laughs> moving at, like, eight miles an hour. And I just buried him. Yeah. And I knew I couldn't just punch and stuff. Right, yeah. you can't just throw no, punches. You can't. So I'm like, I'm here now. What do I do? I have to do something, making. So I just go elbow digs to the throat. Elbow, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. elbow yeah. digs, elbow. Uh -huh. Like I'm kneading dough. Just he was just, <laughs> and he's on the ground, all on top of him. So Chris sees this immediately. Probably when I first grabbed William and I started chasing him, Chris sprinted from the sideline, threw his helmet on, weaved through his own players, which oh, is yeah. a fine. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Pay that. Comes out, grabs the bat, and meanwhile, all the Rams are trying to pull me off. My own teammates are trying to pull me off. They can't. Roberto Garza's forty. Yeah, and but can deadlift. Chris the tries world, to pull so. me off, and he pulls me off. And when he does, you see that jersey. My hands are no longer in the fight. So what do I do, Chris? I use my my right leg. Yeah, you use your right leg. I kicked. Yeah, you kicked. I don't know if I connected. You probably connected with Will. And I think it's been almost but a decade. The fight was so over. Now, like this, the the, me and Will are friends. We, statute of limitations on this bullshit is over. We talk on Facetime you know often. What? But the funniest thing in the world was that we were all cool. Like, <laughs> so I, I say this all the time. Two things that you should know. Number one, Kyle was going his rookie year. Uh, I decided to scoop him up, take him to Vegas with the D line. Said this would be a good time. Like, show Kyle what the NFL life's all about. Which it was. <laughs> Which it was. And. Uh, <laughs> Coincidentally, he carried me out of a party that day. Like I was on a stretcher. I woke up at one in the morning in Vegas, and 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 Kyle was staying with me at the wind. Coincidentally, and I said, Kyle, where are we going tonight? The lights were all off. The whole thing. Chris is one in the morning. Go back to bed. Mm. You passed out since three p.m. So Kyle, so Kyle was an integral part of that trip and was really cool. It was me, Kendall Langford, William Hayes, the whole group. We were buddies. It was like Kyle was one of us. And the next time we saw each other, it just went south. And it ended in William Hayes almost dying, dude. And so I thought that was really interesting. And also the fact that there were 50 people in town and I had to entertain all these motherfuckers after the game. We had the- <laughs> On like, Thanksgiving. It was like a wedding. Okay, like all the long boys get married, all that stuff. Congratulations, by the way, Kyle. This was like the fourth wedding. It was Kyle coming to play Chris in St. Louis, his rookie year. Let's get everybody we know, invite him to St. Louis. And then after Kyle, by the grace of God, doesn't get ejected, I have to sit around the Ritz-Carlton with a bunch of mopey motherfuckers wondering if Kyle's tearing up the team plane. <laughs> but before before any of this, I think there was a lot of laughs on the team plane, honestly. But Good. Before, but after the play, you know, we're all separated. I'm still on the field. I yeah. don't know how they haven't pulled me off the yeah, field. Yeah, well, Chris is looking across the line of scrimmage at me. He's like, you dumb motherfucker. He's like, that FedEx is coming, which means you're going to get fined a lot of money. And I didn't know what the FedEx meant at first. I was like, <laughs> this guy's sending me a bomb or what? Like, he's like, that fucking FedEx is coming. And I was like, yeah. I didn't even know what he was saying. Yeah. I was like, fuck you. Yeah, what's he going to bring? And, and, then William Amazon, Hayes, and then William Hayes was still on the field. He goes walking up behind Chris and yeah. he goes, cow. What's up, man? We used to be boys. We was in Vegas. <laughs> he said, we was in Vegas. What happened, Kyle? Yeah. 
like, like with his still palms trying up. to line you up. Palms up. He just he just took a beating and he still was talking to you. He's a tough. He's tough SLB. and he's strong, but that doesn't day wear he gloves either. That, that day he wasn't so strong. Doesn't wear gloves. Does not wear gloves. So I just, was my I story wouldn't... along the lines of what you said? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I didn't embellish it. I just said Kyle lost. He went shark eyes, and um, and I uh, had to go rescue him out of the pool, dude. <sighs> um, so you're welcome. I will bill you for that because I got fined for coming off the sideline. I think it was a million dollars. <laughs> Listen to the full podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and other podcast streaming platforms. Uh, wherever you want to get the podcast, you can get the podcast. Pretty simple. New episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Podcasts get pretty wild. This is real tame.